Good morning there. You're watching QTV this morning, and I am Jenna Bosonko, and I hope you all enjoyed um, the OIC Summit. It was a successful one, I believe, and um, it's good that we're here at this point to talk about the aftermath of it all because the build-up was really intense, and now it's over. It's about building continuing to build our country. And uh, Mr. Adee, who was part of the local organizing committee, um, the media committee for that matter, is here with me. And yeah. I know, um, it, you know, there's that relief right now <laughs> that, you know, you've done what is expected of you. And here you are talking about the fact that the OIC has passed. It's, it's, it's over. And I, I did make the joke sort of two or three days that, you know, uh, leading up to it, I said, I'll be glad when it's over. Yeah. But in a weird kind of way, you, all, you all also miss it. You miss the activity. The, the whole activity. Yeah working with a really good team of people yeah. in, in the uh, media subcommittee. So mm -hmm. yeah, but um, it's come and it's gone and now we look forward. Yeah, we look yeah. forward. That's, yeah. that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. And we're here with Said Mati. Actually, Said Mati, it's been ages you've not been on the show mm -hmm. and you used to it's be been a usual. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> been a while but <laughs> thank yeah. you so much for joining us. You mm -hmm. know, we, we figured it's important to bring, um, you know, an independent mind on the show to actually talk about the OIC. You, we, we were directly involved. Indeed, you know, you were yeah. part of the local organizing committee. I was a protocol, protocol yeah. directly involved. So it's not for us to decide mm -hmm. how everything went. It's for that independent individual to join us and, you know, share his mm -hmm. or her thoughts and his thoughts with us, said Mati, on, on the whole process. But generally, as a Gambian, you know, what were your thoughts prior to the OIC summit? And now that the OIC summit happened already at this point, you know, what was your perception before and now after? Yeah, thank you, Jane. I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i so happy to be here. At some point, I disappeared. You, you know, did. As academics, you know, sometimes <laughs> you have to hide and make sure that you publish some of those papers, yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, but, you know, I want to congratulate all of you um, and even the His Excellency, the President, and uh, the entire country, entire Gambian, because, I mean, we, we organize the, the, we welcome the, the second largest international organization in this country. And we're talking about a small, tiny country. Mm. And I think the, at the beginning, you know, a lot of people were just, you know, doubting whether it will happen or not happen. For me, you know, I was much, not much looking towards mm -hmm. the conference itself, mm -hmm. but looking at the developmental <laughs> aspects that were coming into quite, the country. Quite. Because for me, I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned about those issues, sure. you know, rather than whether heads of states did meet and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when the meeting happened, um, I think as a Gambian, uh, looking at the declaration, the Banjul declaration and all those things, it makes you very proud, especially mm -hmm. if you've been participating in all these different meetings at different levels. And then you see that, I mean, now in the next three years, this country is going to lead the Muslim Ummah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think that's the, this, that's the biggest um, achievement that we have, um, we have received so far. Mm -hmm. And I think we all should be happy and celebrating that because, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that shows that we are not as small as we think mm -hmm. yeah. ourselves that we are, we, we are that small. So for me, it, it, it has been that good, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm glad to mm -hmm. hear you say that because for me, um, as somebody who was involved, mm -hmm. um, the message I've been trying to get across to both, not just the people in the yeah. team, the subcommittee that I worked with, but everybody that I've spoken mm -hmm. to, I said that once Gambia assumes the chairmanship, yeah. we need to capitalize on like that. that. Mm -hmm. like These countries can help take Gambia to a whole different mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. We should not waste like the Gambia. three years of that chairmanship right. we should really capitalize on it in a big way mm -hmm. scholarships you know mm -hmm. development and of course in the theme sustainable development, development was part of the theme yeah. and we should you know uh, kind of jump on the back of that mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just take the country to we've seen some of the developments yeah. that people have always tended to link to the summit you know the roads and some of the you know street lighting and so on um, but that's okay the summit is over now how do we mm -hmm. You know, advantage, yeah. take advantage of, of, of that is come and gone. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For me, it's the beginning of something rather than the end of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is yeah. definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and you talked about how proud you were with the Banjul Declaration mm -hmm. and the final communique um, being out there. And um, actually, what really caught my attention while I was going through, you know, the final communique is the fact that, you know, part of the things that were stressed has to do with um, interfaith dialogue. Yeah, sure. You know, sure. because the misconception is there you know, with the OIC, oh, yeah. it's Muslim leaders sure. only coming together to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. So when you go through it, you know, in different areas, you will see how they're trying to mm -hmm. bring about that, you know, interfaith dialogue and ensuring that, you know. And Gambia showed by example, mm -hmm. you had people like Bishop Banimanga. He was right he there. Attended. He attended, um, yes. You know, I saw some people criticizing him, saying, why are you attending when 
it's an Islamic conference. Yeah. And he was able to I mean, answer it's, that. It's, it's, you it's know? just a misconception. Uh, and he was trying to say, this is in Gambia. Yeah. And this is how we are in our exactly. country. Exactly. Don't come and change us. Yeah, yeah. So Definitely. that was great. And we had leaders attend who are not even Muslim. Yeah. So, yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. The, the OIC is a political organization, just like the UN, yeah. the EU, and all yeah. those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, it is the one that is organized um, by, you know, Muslim countries. Mm -hmm. who, who, I mean, Muslim, not only Muslim countries, but the, like you said, yeah. there are countries um, you know that their presidents are not Muslim. They're not Muslim. They have Muslims yeah. there, yeah. but they yeah. are members of that mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just to ensure you know that there is solidarity among Muslims all over the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether you know your country is majority Muslim or even where the the country is not Muslim. Um, but then the, the the goals, if you look at it, is more to advance the political agenda. You mm -hmm. know, to That's ensure right. that the rights of Muslims all over the world are respected. Mm -hmm. You know, those those are the things that the OIC is, is standing for. It's not like a cultural organization where you know they have to do the strictly religious you know aspect but this is about advancing mm -hmm. you know that's why we were talking about sustainable development mm -hmm. that's yeah. why they're talking about you know addressing poverty that's why they're talking about the islamic development bank and how they need to support all these different issues yeah. that's why they were talking about how to address the palestinian question because that's you know these are all political questions um, that has to be there but it was not only about the politics but mm -hmm. the, about the the human being mm -hmm. the, the, well, that's the right. muslim itself mm -hmm. and that's why they were very careful in choosing the theme yeah. Yeah. because i was saying to somebody because I, I helped to do a four minute um, documentary. Mm -hmm. And so for a long time I'd been studying the history mm -hmm. and I'd said that if you looked at how very overtly political or even Islamic some of the previous summits yeah. had been in, in terms of you know, religion, uh, this one, it was about uh, peace through mm -hmm. dialogue mm -hmm. and sustainable development. Mm -hmm. they, they very, very carefully mm -hmm. chose the mm -hmm. theme yeah. uh, because they wanted it to be some, you know, things that were achievable. Yeah. And, and, and things that were more maybe more easily attainable yeah. mm -hmm. than, than some of the things they'd gone for in so the past. So I know to many people, many people will say they were expecting that I'll bring this part up because also part of the communique has to do with ensuring that the rights of women are protected, mm -hmm. you know, the right to work and the right to education. Mm -hmm. You know, with that, then, you know, it is out there that Islam or religion in general is not against the development of women, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, like everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but the everybody the does not know I mean, that. <laughs> everybody does I mean, not know that, Saint Mati. I, I, there's just there are a lot of religious arguments out there. I mean, it's for yeah, for yeah. me, it's like maybe there's a in in this country. Usually, I say that people don't listen to each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, but sometimes when I you know remove myself from the conversation, mm -hmm. I tend to hear almost similar stuff. Oh, right, just right. people talking over each other. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, but generally, I, I think that's you know you cannot talk about the, the Muslim Ummah without mm -hmm. talking about women because. Mm -hmm. In Islam, mm -hmm. you know, we all know how, um, you know, women, uh, you know, should be treated because it has been clearly stated mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I mean, and of course, we, we know clearly that in our societies, um, tradition and culture over the period has also taken that. And mm -hmm. now today in this country, we're talking about patriarchy. Sometimes I argue, I mm -hmm. say there is no patriarchy, mm -hmm. you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're talking about all these issues because mm -hmm. sometimes is the humans or the men themselves that refuse to take responsibility in most sure. cases where mm. you you see that but generally i mean w um, such organizations uh, you cannot talk about development advancement you know when you leave women behind mm -hmm. and that is it, it doesn't make sense because you're talking about the the ummah you're talking about the mothers you're talking about um, those that are supposed to be the primary duty bearers when mm -hmm. it comes to raising the, the the kid and the family within islam is a very important element and how should you have an, uh, an organization, Islamic conference, without bringing that agenda uh, um, forward? But I think also uh, what needs to be done is that all these different countries, because it's a membership organization, mm -hmm. all these different countries also need to go back and ensure that all some of these issues that um, they claim or you know are being done in the name of Islam, uh, those things are addressed. Mm -hmm. For me, is 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 as simple and straightforward as as, as that. But of course, you cannot talk about such a meeting without women. And in fact, before this OIC, there was a uh, meeting, mm -hmm. I think the, the document they call it the Jida Women document, which is also added to this. Yes, so right. it means like the OIC itself have been championing those issues. Yeah. And how do we yes. integrate it into our, our own normal local governance yeah, processes? Process is also yes. something that we need to think about. Because what you had is that um, you had Shia and Sunni. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, majority countries that would normally not even speak to each other, mm -hmm. uh, but under the auspices of the OIC, yeah. they came together. Mm -hmm. yes. And one of the reasons why some of them wanted things about women's rights to be in the final communique 
Well, let's not shy away from it. It's because of what's happened in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. where women are now stopped from going to school mm -hmm. um, uh, because since the Taliban took over. And some of the people who were arguing against them were saying, look, you, you cannot justify this mm -hmm. on religious grounds. Yes, yeah. you cannot. Um, and, and so there, that, there is that debate. So it's not like there's a kind of uniform uh -huh. uh, viewpoint. Mm -hmm. and, but it's, as you said, it's a membership organization mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people have differing views. Yeah. And, and so they were trying to kind of see whether they could, <laughs> through dialogue, um, you know, <laughs> get them to uh, change or amend. And of course, they were also, you know, trying to state their case as to why they yeah. were holding that position. So, yeah, yeah uh, it, it's, 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 it provided opportunities. And for me, when I looked around and I saw people, it was quite good to see people from Shia and Sunni countries mm. hugging mm. And, 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 and smiling. Uh, mm -hmm. with each other mm -hmm. so you know even just noticing that mm -hmm. uh, as somebody standing back observing it yeah. <laughs> was it was a really nice vibe i mean you know see you see like uh, globally you see all these tensions and mm -hmm. all that stuff mm -hmm. but you know that's when why sometimes meet. yeah but yeah. You know, that's, why, that's why i am yeah. i'm always interested yeah people will complain of meetings meetings but that's why i like this kind of meetings mm -hmm. because no matter what you know friends are made you know even like if your countries are at war or something you, yeah. you know there will always be opportunity for people to connect to mm -hmm. Uh, build relationship mm. and eventually they in in most political situations these are the people that eventually if their countries are at uh, at the, you know at loggerheads they are usually the ones that come in between well because I they've already built <laughs> those kind of relations this is it and i said to somebody when we were discussing this i said can you name any war that has never ended mm. Yeah. Mm. And how does the war end? Mm -hmm. With people sitting down at a table yeah. of course. Yeah. to agree something. Yes. Whether it's a surrender or a compromise yeah. or something. Yeah. Wars do not go on forever. Mm -mm. You know, so even the people who people might term as, you know, mortal enemies, yeah. at some point they will have to sit down and they will have to talk to each mm -hmm. other. Like you know, you talk to your enemies, you make peace with your enemies, mm -hmm. not with your friends. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so, you know, even what is happening with Israel and Hamas, at some point, like yeah. right now, so I'm speaking there in Egypt, mm -hmm. trying to come to some sort of compromise yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and find a peaceful solution yeah. uh, because it, it cannot go on forever. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's why I also like the, you know, the Gambian approach to it. And I, when I listen to the president's statement that, you mm -hmm. know, we are not for military solutions, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. for, for, for dialogue. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a, you know, recently we, in February, we published a paper mm -hmm. called Managing Political Crisis in Small States. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at how um, Gambia has been able to manage, um, you know, mm -hmm. some of its uh, crisis locally. And, right. and you, if you look at it historically, you mm -hmm. see that um, the issue of dialogue, the issue of a peaceful approach has always been there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm happy that we are bringing that out and very clear yes. to the world that our approach is dialogue. Yes. Um, because this is what we can do, this mm -hmm. is what we are known for, and this is our comparative advantage. And I, and I hope like this next three years, um, this country will take advantage of that and mm -hmm. make sure you know that the the you know the 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 Islamic Ummah start discussing and talking and mm. you know and contribute to the global human you know mm. development approach that we are talking about mm. now. Especially now we're focusing on these SDGs, mm -hmm. where even the conference critically highlight. And I was mm -hmm. also happy um, to hear the issue of poverty and yeah. the issue of yes, you know, health care. Yes, it was scarcely you know, all yeah. those things. Yeah, because of course you know you, you have the Arab countries mm. uh, well mm. endowed, yeah. and then yeah. you have you know. <laughs> There's <laughs> no. You know. The, the, so the how do we ensure? Yeah, yeah. Quite, that quite. within the the, the the organization itself, we that the, the African bloc or the mm. other countries also benefit from yeah. the goodwill of, of course, you know, to an extent it is happening. Um, but I think, uh, like he was saying, through scholarship, through yes. these other opportunities, yeah. healthcare, yeah, healthcare, yeah. healthcare yeah. Um, those are the and water supply because uh, these are also I, I had them yeah. sanitation, yeah, 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 yeah. Quite so, exactly. so those are the things that we need to discuss about that, but not come. This one is right, this one is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. those kind of things do not advance anybody. And I'm happy that our approach has been more focused on um, uplifting the human, the the, the Muslim. And, and for me, as I said, you know, I kind of was very much an observer. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was involved. But one of the things I observed and one of the things I would point out to people is that, yes, you see the two, the big conferences. Yeah. You had the senior officials meeting, mm -hmm. you had the conference of foreign ministers, and, the and then you had the, 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 the yeah. summit itself mm -hmm. of, of rulers. But there were all these bilateral meetings yes, the bilateral. where agreements were yeah. signed. Yeah. And, and for me, they were almost as important and probably more important because those will go, they go beyond yeah. Yeah. the summit, yeah. yes. beyond the, the, the week that we had here. Mm -hmm. You know, these bilateral agreements were signed and some of them were for scholarships yep. yeah. and some of them were for Visas, developmental, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Because the, yeah, mi yeah, the Ministry quite. of Digital Communication mm. um, signed this uh, particular right. grant yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. It's a new ministry and needs all the funding. 
and if I could just give up. a quick yeah. advert yeah. as it <laughs> at, 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 at midday today, yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's going to be a press conference yes, at the Sadaud Kairaba. Yeah, when they will give a kind of you know uh, uh, an update, including the CEO of the Secretariat yes. will be there nice. uh, to give an update and Ministry of Information yeah. to give a, a, an update about you know what happened and so on and a roundup. And I expect at some point, obviously, there will be a report yeah. which will tie together everything, mm -hmm. and then you know people can see at mm -hmm. what happened at the summit and the possible benefits going forward. Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Mid, you know, mid part of that, because mm. you took it back to the Gambia, mm -mm. the Gambia, um, it's important to also talk about the fact that it, there was a lot of argument about the fact that only six head of states came. Mm. You know, so d did that affect the value, <laughs> you know, of the conference? Did it matter? So, Said Mati, while you were reading I mean, in between those lines about the number of heads of states that came, you know, a lot of the other people were like, delegated you know, you know you did know that me? affect in any way the success of the conference I to mean, you like you know for me if you ask me i told you what me I, what <laughs> i wanted from the conference, <laughs> yeah. from the conference. <laughs> Quite. me i am not like even if none of them showed up yeah. <laughs> oh. you know, i mean like yeah. it's a conference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it still is official the declaration everything is official mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean like how many meetings happened at the un and our president cannot go and de de delegate some somebody that's right and and, and i think also um you know uh, as a as a country the the just the fact that we were able to bring and have the meeting here mm -hmm. for me it should be it should be the you know a, a proud moment yeah, yeah. For, mm -hmm. for for all of us and not to look at oh six presidents come two presidents come you know, for mm -hmm. me, I don't see the essence in that. I mean, let me tell me how many roads have been constructed. Mm -hmm. Tell me how many mm -hmm. um, infrastructural development have been, uh, I mean, uh, brought about. You know, brought the, brought yeah. about. And you know, what are the like? What are the benefits that our chairmanship can bring to this country? Because those are the things that are interesting to the people. Sure. I mean, I did not attend the conference, but yeah. every day I am mm -hmm. on the road. I'm Check it. Everywhere. Yes. <laughs> you know, so so at yeah, least yeah, you know. Sometimes uh, that's why I say I'm a functional person. Mm -hmm. I just look at the basic because at some point we need to be realistic mm -hmm. where our country is and know that you know we are developing and mm -hmm. you know these are all part of the uh, the issues yeah, that we need yeah, to address. Yeah. I actually saw a post online today when somebody said while I was going to work I saw the workers w resumed work mm -hmm. you know to complete the remaining yeah, oh, paths yeah, oh, because right. you know yeah. of, of the whole process it's not like work is going to stop I mean, the you know, immediately the conference yeah, finishes. And, you and, know? And, and you know for me you know what I see in terms of you know the six uh, presidents who came and so on it's 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 the reality mm -hmm. okay uh, whether six presidents came or one president came all of the presidents who did not come send very high level representation yeah. Yeah. Foreign ministers it's and, yeah. a statement yes of the gambia's position mm -hmm. because let me be blunt if this had taken place in turkey 25 30 yeah. 40 president presidents would have gone yeah. yes Th there's no two ways about yeah. it a lot of them looked at, oh, can Gambia handle... Uh, some yeah. of them wanted security to come with 27 and, yeah. and 30 security people yeah, alone. That's th yeah. Just the security delegation, mm -hmm. never mind the rest of their delegation. Yeah. You know, imagine if 57 people came with 50 nah. and, and, and some of them more... Blades it, it, it and It was everything. not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So for some of them, they thought, okay, you know... Um, they know because the reality. Because of the, the kind of the posse ground. that I roll with, I can't go to this, but mm. I can send somebody who is a very high level and I will give them complete authority to make decisions on behalf of my mm. nation. Yeah. So for me, as said, Matty said, it's not about that. It's not about the conference. It is about what comes after it, yeah. what comes out of it, mm -hmm. what do we benefit from it as government. And we have to be blunt mm -hmm. and, and even selfish Accept. about this. Yeah. Like, wh what can we gain from it? It's yes. our turn. Mm -hmm. it's, it's our, it's it's our turn to chop. Yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? You know, yeah. I, I, I yeah. Michael, I, Michael Arong's book. Yeah. I think it is. <laughs> yes, my turn to eat. You know, yeah. but yeah, uh, you know, it's it's so yeah. I mean, you know, what are we going to get from it? And and I, I keep emphasizing the point: yeah. let us not waste the opportunity presented by this summit and you by know, the three years of the yeah. chairmanship. You know, for me, I always look at it historically, and that's why you know my favorite Gambian is Hassum Sisi. Mm -hmm. You know, fortunately, um, because recently I also saw a post going about talking about historically yeah. the role that Gambia has been playing with the within the OIC. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, mediation and, mediation and, so on. Yeah. Yeah. and yeah. all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there has been, you know, uh, that that recognition, mm -hmm. you know, um, recognition where almost all of the th countries attended, yes. even though, you know, the, the kings and mm -hmm. um, some of these big people did not um, uh, make it. Mm -hmm. um, but you see that recognition mm -hmm. that this is a country that has been also championing mm -hmm. yeah. the voice of the Muslim, you know, when you look at the Rohingya the case, Rohingya. you know, yeah. like there's a continuous um, presence yeah. of Gambia within the OIC and mm -hmm. we've been doing that. Yeah. And, and, and so already there's been that support. 
And people could have said, well, you're a small country, you know, you cannot do this, so we're not. But look at the, the rally and, you know, the support that came yeah. um, through, you know, that we had mm -hmm. from, from all these member states, from right. Turkey, I saw, because yeah, me, yeah. I mostly focus on the security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw how they were training, you know, yeah, almost yeah. 3,000 yes. security personnel. Mm -hmm. So that is, uh, and, and this is a continuous relationship that is there. That's and right. I think as a country that is developing, this, are the bigger pic this is the bigger picture mm -hmm. that we should look at. How do we build relationship? But how do we strategically, you know, position ourselves to ensure um, that we benefit from all this different stuff? And to be selfish yeah. about it as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know, exactly and like you, I, I'm a big fan of Hasum Sisse. But what I'm not a big fan of is that I think sometimes the importance of Gambia's role mm -hmm. in history is not taught in schools. Yeah. Uh, it's not up to Hasum to teach it. Um, I think we should embrace it. The very thing you're talking about, the Gambia's role in the OIC, mm -hmm. you go back to the Iran-Iraq war. Well, yeah. Not only did Gambia sit on that committee, mm -hmm. which was formed yeah. specifically to mediate, Gambia chaired yeah. that yeah. committee. Yeah. You know, so, but how many people know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we do uh, see it in our contemporary Gambian uh, politics. Yeah. 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 You know? But you see, there's, sense, a, there's yeah. a whole foreign <laughs> yeah. policy but, you know, aspect in mm -hmm. Gambia, that is, you, like, we, we, there's nothing it's that like is It's like a blind written. spot. Yeah, yeah there's a yeah. blind spot. So, and that's why I also say, it is an opportunity yeah. to raise a lot of money so that we can rewrite our history. On research, and proposals, and, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Even ECOMOC, you know, they yeah. had a number of things. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I keep telling our students, from 1972, mm -hmm. that's when the Gambia decided to be intentionally about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, going out. out. Yes. yes. Yeah, being, being there, being present, mm -hmm. you know, being participating. That's yeah. why we have the African Commission. Yeah. Yeah. And along this way, while the, world, the whole world was between, you know, fighting East, West, we were able to talk about the human being, yes. you know, human rights, mm -hmm. how Focus. do we couch that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, today in Africa and globally, I mean, we, we're very strong mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to those issues. How do we take advantage of that and, you know, strengthen um, the human resource base? I yeah. think it's also critical. Yeah. This is it. And yeah. I think more should have been made of the fact that this year marked 50 years of Gambia joining the OIC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. first All of those things were in out there. The, you know, 1974 yeah. was the first one that Zadar yeah. attended. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, again, I said it was very fitting mm -hmm. that when it was hosted here for the first time, it was at a venue Sanada, named yeah. in his yeah. honor. Yeah. So yeah. it yeah. was like, you know, poetic justice in a sense <laughs> <laughs> that, that it should come yeah. that the person who first took us into this uh, organization actually, yeah. is actually after. honored and, you know, a place that is, is mm -hmm. named in his honor yeah. is where the, the, the summit mainly took place. Yeah, I, sure. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, you know, the fact that in Gambia here currently we politicize everything. I could, wh while I was watching, <laughs> while I was watching I the saw comment, a lot of it. I was protocoling and watching the commentary <laughs> at the same time because I wanted to know what journalists were talking about, you know, what were the gossips here and there. And, you know, a lot of focus was also on the fact that, oh, this political party did not attend, this person did not attend, and mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. So lately, you know, on even on QTV's commentary, we had to reach out to say, oh, actually, that's not the case. Yeah. All four vice presidents attended from um, Aisha Tunjai yeah, Saidi to lawyer Usain Odabo, yeah, yeah, former yeah. vice presidents, lawyer Usain Odabo, Fad Matadalo, Tambajang. Mm. You know, I know you saw that as well, who who and who came at the local level. Did that really matter even, to, you know, was that... You know was that supposed to be a focus <laughs> area? It matters. It matters because we politicize everything. We That's politicize. Right. Yes, yeah. we politicize and I will go everything. Into, I will go into yeah. the conversations I had with people. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah, we I'll politicize everything. Really and comment. honestly, it's draining sometimes. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, it's sometimes depressing. you know, like for me, I manage my expectation in this country. Okay. Wow. You know, I mean, mm. like. <laughs> I, I am a, I study Gambian politics. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, you know, if I have to take emotional or take everything, mm -hmm. like I will not be, so yeah. that's why sometimes I just look at it, I say it's the typical Gambian that is doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Um, you know, the, for me it's like, you know, you have a country of people that have not been talking for two decades and now you have opportunity to talk. So sometimes we'll talk, we'll <laughs> talk about everything, yes. we'll, we'll create problems <laughs> yeah. where they're supposed to, yeah, unnecessary problems. But for me, the good thing is like, at least people are talking. But those that are there, mm. those that have been sacrificing, those that know what you know, it took, the sleepless nights, those are the people that we need to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Because most of the people outside, some of them were saying it will not happen. Uh -huh. But they've made it happen. Mm -hmm. So whatever the, the reaction and all those things, is a continuity of the kind of conversation that happened before. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, that's how I say it. Some people say it's not going to happen, even though Gambia is going to do it. And now it happened. How are they going to change their conversation? They're going to look for... Areas. bits and yeah. pieces to, yeah. to talk about that mm -hmm. but for me also if it is um, you know if it is discourse in terms of more for national advancement 
for those kind of comments, I, I kind of welcome those. But yeah. for just the, oh, this one attend this. this. I mean, yeah. I yeah. did not attend. People were asking me, why exactly. do you go? I said, me, I, my interest is the roots. I got the, the roots. Exactly. I mean, what it's else do I need? Yeah, so it's, but everybody, it's important, yeah. Sima, you talked about how your interest is the roots. And we also talked about how successful the OIC was. But it, there was a checklist. Yeah. You know, there was a checklist when it comes to the, the, the OIC. Organizing, yeah. A lot of things had to be ticked, but there are a few areas that we did not see. Hopefully today, mm -hmm. during the press conference, they'll be able to clear this. For example, the electricity aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, NOWEX capacity was supposed to be boosted mm -hmm. through this particular yeah, conference. Yeah. Water and sanitation also was, you know, supposed to be improved. But oh, these are areas that, you know, we did not see happen because we have to be also honest when yeah. it comes to areas that um, did not improve and they were supposed to improve during the process. So that I mean, has course, to be yes. out there as well. Of course, yeah. I mean, the, the, the resources that are spent, there needs to be accountability. Sure. For me, sure. really, when it comes to that, the issue of accountability has to be there. Yes. Um, but, you know, that, that is that is coming because mm -hmm. things, projects are still ongoing. Yeah. You cannot audit the road, which is, I mean, they, they can talk about those things, mm -hmm. um, you know, that is that is still ongoing. Uh, even the NAVEC issue that you talk about, um, I think those are all necessary issues that they need to, to look at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, despite that, at least for me, at least it, at least one week, it's a week of you know uh, relaxation. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I, I go to this event yeah. and I know how, like, what it means, especially yeah. if you're a host country. Mm -hmm. So when I see that happening in my own country, in my backyard, it, yeah. it, it, it's a that good sense feeling. Of pride. Um, then eventually, you know, we have to get to do other issues, the nitty gritties of it, and a lot of. I mean, it will not be over uh, midnight. But well, subsequently, a lot of stories will come up, and we need to look into all those different and, issues. And, and that's what I've been kind of, I was going to say discussing, if I have to be honest, having arguments with people mm -hmm. yeah. online about, is that don't just look at the summit and, oh, it came and it went. Because one guy said to me, he says quite pointedly, he said, yes, he said, what does it benefit uh, my parents who live in Sanyang if they don't have electricity, mm. that we hosted yeah. a successful summit? Mm -hmm. I said, fair point. Mm -hmm. um, I said, but, you know, what we should look forward to is that, you know, how are we going to benefit from mm -hmm. the summit mm -hmm. and what we can gain from the summit. Mm -hmm. And we can stress this point again and again and again, and we must stress it again and again and again. Um, how can we maximize mm -hmm. the opportunities presented mm -hmm. by the summit? And, 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 and that's what we should be looking forward to. And if we exhaust the three years of our chairmanship and, and there is no improvement, <laughs> then we decide to be, bl we, we deserve to be blasted yeah. for wasting what is a golden opportunity. Definitely. This opportunity may never come again. Mm -hmm. And I, I cannot stress enough, may never come again. And that's why people need to look at and investigate and interrogate all the bilateral agreements mm -hmm. that were made mm -hmm. in the sidelines of this conference mm -hmm. and say, oh, this one is for what? As you said, one is for visas, another is for you know work permits to certain mm -hmm. countries, yeah. another is for Digital scholarships. Communications. Yeah, let's let's yeah. let's 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 yeah. uh, you know let's publish all of them so it's open and and people uh, don't say, oh, well, you know, I got ten scholarships and I'm going to make sure they only go to people in my district yeah. mm -hmm. or yeah. in my in, in my region or whatever. No. They need to be open and, and, and above board, and people mm -hmm. need to see. And we were talking about transparency. Yeah. Hey, like you know, and you talked about a report. So hopefully when a report of comes that's, out that's of standard. financial dealings, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. with the OIC and everything, you know, we'll yeah. be able to and hold and them you know, accountable. We have an Access to Information uh, Act yeah. is now there. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. these are the kind of things that if people do st stuff uh, in government on your behalf, you have yeah, yeah. A, you an to entitlement uh, to be to able to ask question. for that and, and to mm -hmm. see it. Yeah. Otherwise, why have a bill uh, ha and act like that, rather? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I totally agree. For me, the, the next three years is going to be decisive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for us, how we're going to, because we're going to be uh, not only, you know, looking for Gambians uh, mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. you know, but we're talking about billions, uh, you know, Muslims that we need to, to mm -hmm. look at. So in that way also, yeah. I mean, they're looking at the question of, what the benefit supposed to be for the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's, it's also, very um, you know, yeah. very, very critical in this sense. But of course, in the issue of electricity, I mean, mm -hmm. there are certain things that um, are very clear, like the rural electrification project, yeah, things yeah. are happening. There yeah, are quite yeah, a number yeah. of things that are happening in yeah. this country. Yeah, yeah. 
and you know the, the government need to be bold you know to be able about to about yeah, stating their case about about you keep people you keep people informed and yeah. that's why it's not communicated that's why since ismail as he say took over yes he's been very proactive yeah. when, when it comes to in, communicating in, in, in these committing things. You're communicating government story and yes. that's what we, you need i mean like so yeah. sometimes say oh you're defending government government is for it's all of us about that, yeah. government. that yeah. part i mean like if we're if they're spending our local fund to build hakalang road yeah we need to know to what extent hakalang road has been built and how much money has been spent there and the the quality of the road all those things the government should have that to yeah. tell the people yeah, it's, it's, it's part of the accountability yeah. process. I mean um, process and mechanism mm -hmm. that they need to need to do mm -hmm. look at all these deals all these arrangements what have they done mm -hmm. I mean all those things need to be documented what yeah, because like you know uh, people need to be aware of those and sometimes I say in this country if people get aware if they're aware of issues mm. you know they just move on to something yeah, else yeah, yeah, but yeah. what what keeps them you know mm. hunting and looking for things well, is when you hide they don't know yeah, 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 they kept in the yeah. dark. Yeah. They kept in the dark. So, yeah. so like, I mean, yeah. if you're doing things on behalf of the people, you know, just let them know and, you know, and even inv involve them from the onset. And, and then you, yeah. you take people along with you. Exactly. People can, because if you ha are having difficulties, mm -hmm. if you explain to people, they're people not always People will understand. Noble. They'll understand that there are, there are log jams, there are difficulties. And, and and you, you, you know, know that's why I always give this example of, I mean, we, I never met Sadada's uh, government, but mm. I've read the documents and, mm -hmm. you know, some of his, uh, some of his issues, mm. especially when he was implementing the economic recovery program. Mm -hmm. You know, everything was cheap in Gambia. So mm. then late there was mm. scarcity of rice yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> and all those different stuff. Yes. How, you yes. how are you going to address that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have yeah. to bring people. And I remember watching one video where I saw one of the imams mm. saying, mm. something happened. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to understand that. Mm -hmm. But within a very short period, because of the, that's why they say Gambia was one of the most successful countries. And I know Nyangja and others, you know, that are very much interested in economic yeah, yeah. recovery. Yeah. will tell you Gambia was one of the most successful programs. Mm. And why were we successful? Mm. Because unlike other countries where people were protesting, mm. Gambia, it was done in a way mm. that mm -hmm. people understood the, mm. the, the, the realities and the Underground, challenges. And then, and then, they then you know, move. they move. Yeah. And that's why I always talk to my students about this idea of Tessito. Mm. Because mm. it was our mm. development philosophy. Mm. Yeah, it is yeah, the people on. and government working together. Yeah. You know, and how do we reignite and bring those, sure. you know, philosophical ideas? Mm -hmm. Because from 65 all the way to 85, mm. most of our development things were done at the local level. Mm. Mm. It was later that we started bringing all these mm. global yeah, issue, quite, quite. but development planning was locally done mm -hmm. and it was done in a meticulous way where it was backed by data it was backed by evidence and people were carried along mm -hmm. and 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 that's why today mm -hmm. there are schools that were built by communities yeah, you right, know and right. they educated people yes. agricultural farms and all those things mm -hmm. how do we bring about those experiences to the current you know gambian situation and, for me, and, for, me, interested and in. for me i find it ironical that in what we call the communication age yeah is when we're so poor at communicating with people yeah. <laughs> about and, and I'm spending your tax, but I'm not telling you how yeah. I'm spending it. It is very it's important, done. Mr. Ade, you mentioned this, because, <laughs> you know. for example, the, when the issue of the 40 million given to the media came up, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, I was trying to explain to certain people that it's not promoting government agenda mm -hmm. like you think. Mm -hmm. I, like, I was trying to make them understand that it's the fact that television stations cover national issues like independence, inauguration, yeah. all of those things actually are captured. Mm -hmm. when it comes to the money that they're given. Mm -hmm. And in other countries, normally, media houses are even subvented, even though this is not a subvention. Mm -hmm. But because it was done under the carpet, it was not out there where there's a minister coming out to explain to people, oh, this is the reason why we're giving this money to media houses. Then the speculation started coming, yeah, you know? I mean, you see, if you're a government, and you're not intentional, in, because policies are things that you choose to do or not yeah. choose to do. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to be intentional in things that, um, you know, that can help the public. Exactly. You know, one of the things, especially within the civil society community, some of times what we complain is everything, that, you know, government does something, but people are not That's aware. Right. Yeah. The other day I saw the Guardian victims, <laughs> they <laughs> petitioned the, the, the government. Yes, but yes. we went to the president, there's discussions. There are processes mm -hmm. of establishing a victim commission, yeah. Yeah. but they're petitioning. But mm -hmm. that victim commission is supposed to take care of that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, so, so if you're not intentional in terms of how you're going to communicate, yeah. then you you know, you'll create room for all these unnecessary, you know, speculations and all that. And, you know, if you're using public money for mm. the public, mm. clearly tell the public. Why do you, you have to hide and be, you know, know, under the capet, you know, mm. like be secretive about that? Yeah, you know, for me, that's for me, that's the way I, everybody mm. pay. For mm. us, even civil society, if we want to come here and do program, we you pay. You pay money, Every yeah. Government, you government know, even has if you to want pay to, go, to yeah, come to and pay. talk. Yeah. So, yeah. If you, so for me, the, the issue is, 
let the discussions be for the public let them you know engage because communication is two-way straight yes. the way we are sitting here people are commenting people mm -hmm. are you know yeah. they, yeah. agreeing or disagreeing with mm -hmm. what we are mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. and that's what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and we don't have to hide about it because mm -hmm. we like nations are built based on that you mm -hmm. cannot just be you know be hiding and you know running away from your people and, yeah. and you yeah. know for me when i see things like the access to information act mm -hmm. and I, I told people jennifer you knows yeah I, I, I said You've always I, I been said, saying that I'm not sure we're ready for it. And mm -hmm. the reason I always say that is because in, in, in the UK, I worked on the Freedom of Information mm -hmm. Act, um, you know, and I saw how Britain is a very secretive society. Mm -hmm. Ministers and government officials had always been very secretive by holding on to information. They had to be dragged kicking and screaming into the modern age. Mm -hmm. I even headed a committee called MOLIA, Modernizing mm -hmm. Our Laws for the Information Age. Yeah. It was a government committee. Mm -hmm. And part of uh, our job was to actually teach ministers yeah. about why you shouldn't be secretive. Because yeah. exactly. when you're secretive, that's when people leak Informers. information mm -hmm. and, and it gets out there and... and <laughs> you're not controlling it. You, you, can't. Control you then the can't control, yeah. the, you can't. You can't control the, 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 the narrative because you've allowed it to escape um, by a means that was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But you, it was really a difficult, but you had to actually give them you know, kind of mock yeah. interviews where so you would ask them about information yeah. that, and then suddenly they wanted to be proactive. Yeah. Ministers would phone you on <laughs> Monday morning, how many interviews have you got for me yeah. from now till Friday? And you with newspapers, and with TV, <laughs> with radio. And, and I think, Mr. Adi, that is kind of translating in the Gambia. You know why? Mm -hmm. Since, okay, since the new Minister for Information came mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and has been proactive yeah. when it comes to getting information out there, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I see other ministries' handles becoming active well, this is because it. they don't want them, that ministry to communicate on their behalf. Let's hope they it, wouldn't want let's that. Let's hope it continues. But we know no, so this is guy and a post guy and you and we had discussed a discussion. it and we even argued about the fact <laughs> because that because there was an incident <laughs> there was an incident that happened yeah. when the Gambian was killed in yeah. Germany. Instead of the foreign affairs ministry which handles uh, matters Martin to do with Gambians abroad, abroad. Yeah. Information Ministry came out with uh, a, a, press, a release. press release, and then the next day, Gambia's abroad, you know, foreign affairs came, came out with out a press with release. One. And I said to uh, Geneva at the time, I said that should not have happened. Mm -hmm. You should communicate because yeah. if I'm sending something that is to do with your remit, mm -hmm. I should, con you know, yeah. have a conversation with yeah. you that yeah. I'm going to be doing this. Yeah. And even though I, I, I welcome that Ismaila, Dr. Ismaila Sise was doing this, mm -hmm. I said, you know, okay, but Let this was it's a, it's a new process, and people yeah. are learning as we go along. Yeah. But it's, it's you know, but what we've seen so yeah. far has been. Good. Has I mean, they, good. You, know, you know, government, you know, sometimes we meet them in meetings and coordination is the, yeah. is, is the issue. And if mm -hmm. they can communi um, coordinate their communication, I mean, that's, that's, that, that's going to be effective. It because then, be. you know, we don't have many people to talk to. And sometimes, like what you were saying, I see sometimes ministers being dragged to radio programs <laughs> yeah. where they talk about, you know, their ministries because this is what the people need. Yeah, yeah, I mean, course, uh, course. you know, we've been doing here the program we used to have here Monday for one, you know, to get. Yeah. Senior people, even mm -hmm. not talking about ministers, yeah, yeah. but just senior people is difficult. Really, and really you said you are, really and you said you are paid. Scared. Yes, and you yeah. said you are paid by the people. You said you are working on behalf of the people. It's unfortunate. Yet you are scared to come and yeah, I, I don't know where it's scared and, speak to, the and to talk to the yeah. people. I mean, like even this is your country. You know, for some, f f the first thing you need to think about is like you work for your country, mm -hmm. yeah. and like whatever the issue is, people will discuss it. Yeah. And you know, they'll have to discuss it. Yeah. But if you allow people to speculate, Go and dig in, and then even if that's not the truth, mm -hmm. how yes. are you going to save you yourself, you yourself you from this? Yeah. And in, 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 the absence, in, yeah. in the absence of facts, yeah. people yeah. will make yeah. up, make yeah. up yeah. stuff, oh, and people so. will buy those stuff. And of course, you know, people because now buy with the those social stuff. media WhatsApp, you can just sit in your home, eat your benachin, and do your thing. Voice note, right? Now yeah. you, know, you don't need to write. Note. Now <laughs> you don't need to write. It's yeah. just voice note. Yeah. Everybody, and then that will be so you spread. Can go exactly. Viral. Can go viral. So, yeah. like, you need we government need to avoid that because mm -hmm. if they track them, they will come and then release in press release. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm also happy that you know, like, the still there is press release. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, like, the press conferences are way better. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, that yeah, people yeah. can be able to talk. Ask and questions. so those are things that you know. Yeah. They need Although to my fellow journalists also have to improve. You know, when it comes to doing our research well, yeah. you know, asking the right questions. Because sometimes I'm sitting there, you're sitting here. It's we, unfortunate. We, we've seen guys and they ask a question, you think, 
Na madi rusa. Mm. I mean, like, did you, yeah. didn't, didn't you, you, didn't you read, read before, before going you on? To... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yes, yeah. you have to, yeah. Yeah, for those times, you need to prepare. I mean, you need to. Prepare. But you know, sometimes people are so, it's like my students, you mm. give them sometimes, some of them before, you like some, you give them notes, they come and hear, oh, I have something on Facebook. I said, like, yes. is it Facebook? Or, oh, like, the note. <laughs> is the, is, uh, yeah. is, is, but you know, it, it's work in progress yes. also. Of course. I of mean, course. like, uh, for me, always I look at the baseline mm -hmm. yeah. that, you know, all these things, government, ministers, mm -hmm. press conference, it is happening now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, it was not happening. Mm -hmm. And then you have a lot of these young journalists coming up. Yeah. So sometimes uh, it, it will take time, but they, that's why yeah. Majak and others need to keep But helping. I think we need a guideline, Mr. Ade. At some point, we need, we, we definitely I need a guy. specialize. I, I, I mean, I don't know whether journalists do specialize here as well. For me, well, he's not a fan of specialization, <laughs> so but, I don't know. But, 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 <laughs> but, 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 but you can have the no, knowledge, the, but then I'll you say this is my why. area that yeah, I want to he does not like, like, exactly. <laughs> He does not buy Because it. what I always say is that don't specialize too young. Yes. So yes. Uh, because I grew up as a generalist, yes. and then there were people who they later on they specialized. But when you're sort of under 20, try everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. everything. Yeah. Try, because you're cutting yourself off yeah. if you say at the age of under 25, I'm going to specialize this. in this, yeah. this, 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 yeah. and that. Like me in my you know, research work, I'm jack yeah. of all trades. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can be everywhere. So, but at you some know? point I say, I don't want to do this. This is not what I want to do. You know? yeah. Yeah. Not As you grow. And all that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's the same. Because somebody introduced me to somebody at the... Uh, a conference center during this thing and and she said oh he worked at the uh, BBC World Service yeah. and then she asked me oh what did you do there I said I said Everything. how long have you got yeah. I said I did politics mm -hmm. I did sports mm -hmm. I did music I did architecture <laughs> I did film I did, did theater. Yeah. I said and that's just some of what I did yeah. okay. I said because I did not want to be a general even though Initially, they hired me as a sports reporter, mm -hmm. but within mm -hmm. less than a month, they realized that I had all these other interests yeah. and I had all these other things that I could speak about with yeah. some authority. Yeah. And so, you know, I got, I wouldn't say dragged, but, but I got what to do saying. all of them. Interests. Interest. You know, interest. Like, yeah. you know, here yeah. is also the issue. Yeah. Like yeah. people, sometimes we do things just because, ah, I just Moly have to. Yeah. Available. Yeah. 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 But you know, you need to, that's why you have to develop. You mm. know, you have look at this. <laughs> uh, like, like when TJ comes in this country, yeah. quite a number of like we never did transitional justice. Yeah. Mm. Right. But for us, we mm -hmm. did the survey on TJ because yeah. we have to mm. develop ourselves there, yeah. Yeah. and you know, follow the processes mm -hmm. and see. That's how you you, you look at things. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 build yourself until yeah. at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I go to some meetings and they mm -hmm. talk about TJ, I say, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Transitional justice was way limited. advanced than yeah. most of yeah. the other experiences. And, and I'll tell you just quickly when yeah. we talk about specializing. When I was at the cabinet office and. You know, the internet was something new. Mm -hmm. Imagine when we started the office of the e envoy, not a single uh, government uh, agency or ministry had a website. Oh, okay. We had to make sure that they had websites. Mm -hmm. I suddenly became aware that nobody I knew had studied internet yeah. law. Nobody. Mm, so time, I decided yeah. to, s and so I became the specialist. <laughs> because then you can specialize. No, you know? And suddenly, <laughs> when the prime minister needed a briefing, they'll say, oh, this guy, Ade, we know, he can, he can he write can a briefing. Help. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. But, you, look, you, know, you have to look at find, yeah. find the niche yeah. Yeah. that you know is, is possibly going to be important. Yes, yeah, someday. Because we all knew the, Im the internet was going to be yes. this big, yes, important thing. Someday. And suddenly, you know, and then later on, st b other people started studying because it was very, very different yeah. how, uh, and difficult to actually get people to kind of realize that this thing was going to change our lives exactly. forever. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I'm afraid that is all we have time for. But yes, before we leave, Sid Mati, as a researcher, you stay <laughs> awake a lot of oh times. Yes. I'm 100% <laughs> oh yes. sure about that. So you need the little <laughs> coffee or, you know, to accompany you your research oh, yes. sleepless nights and yes. everything so you know and better accompany it with the cow milk as yeah. well it would definitely ah. work for you ah. yeah <laughs> but thank you so much hopefully you'll be coming more often now no no no, no. yes i'm uh, yes i'm available now okay. i'm back at the university Please. also teaching. Oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. wonderful because of course ismela is gone so yes we're yes gambian gone. so yes. Yes. we're there yes but my until, until he gets dragged oh. away and made a minute oh, no, no, as no, well no, no, until no, he no, becomes let, that, let them leave me alone yeah. Yeah, i found my niche well, my and is you're is there. Research, research and, and I'm lecture. enjoying it <laughs> and I am talking and I like that. Please leave me alone. It's my yeah. life. It's my life. So it's the he same felt the year. same way. But <laughs> anyway, we'll yes. have another conversation about the political science yes. department at the yes. University of yes. the Gambia. Yes. There's a lot to talk about on that. Where Bugum Afe start topic because I'm not the head of unit though. I know you're the head of unit, but as a lecturer, you know, I have a I have
have a question, but I'm not, I can't it's ask. It's for another program. It's for another program <laughs> some other time. And I know the yeah. political science students will come after me. <laughs> but thank you so much, Said Mati, no. for joining us on the program. <laughs> and um, the conclusion is that, you know, we brought an independent mind. Mm -hmm. And to him, he felt like, you know, the conference was a success. Roads completed or not, all projects completed or not. But it's the fact that it happened in the Gambia and it was a success and we got the recognition that we needed and all of that. So thank you so much for that, Said Mati. And looking forward to seeing you soon again. So, our viewers, that is all we have time for. Uh, Mr. Ade, you're going to go back to your newsroom. I'm going to go back get to the newsroom. Things ready. But just saying to Gambians, let's continue this conversation yes. about the OIC, mm -hmm. how we can benefit from it, and let it not start here. And let's let it not be acrimonious. Yeah. Let us try and be positive mm -hmm. and think positively about what we can yeah, get. But you were it. talking about going to Cape Verde, though. Uh, I'm, I'm planning to go to Cape Verde in about two or three weeks' time. Look at that. I, I need I'm so jealous of you. I've been here for five years and I haven't taken a proper holiday. Yeah. Even when I went to UK, yeah. you, you know, I was still working. Yeah. So, so go yeah. to Cape Verde and What's the dress code? Is it shorts? I think it's, beach it's, shorts. It's and very hot there. Yeah, so, so you have your beach shorts. So a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll be so in shorts. So three weeks from your way tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day.